so out of the loop with vlogging. It, it doesn't even feel natural anymore and I've had to record like three or four times. Uh, I'll get the hang of it again. Uh, let's see, VLCD zero for me today. Zero because today is the first day of my round and I always call it day zero because technically you haven't achieved a loss more than likely. Um, I did actually achieve a loss on my, my loading. Which was great. Um, it is March 18th, 2017. I am going to do a 40 day round and then take a short P3 break with IF intermittent fasting and keto and then I'm going to cycle right back into a P2 round um, to try and finish up before my daughter's graduation. Um, and we have a trip planned. And so I have been circling myself for the last year. I've had a lot of issues that have come up um, that I haven't talked about and they have deeply impacted me, my weight, my life. Um, my daughter has severe depression and she tried to commit suicide and has been in and out of the hospital. And so that was my priority in every single waking moment to try and keep her um, grounded. And she's doing much better, but this is a lifelong uh, battle. And then my very best friend of over 34 years, I think, uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer. And so that um, when I was coming up for air in my last round and thinking that I was doing much better, um, I got hit with that. So a lot of soul searching and mental um, processing to try and remember that life will continue to throw these curveballs at me. And I can't, I, although they're very severe, um, I also have to live and I am miserable with all this extra weight and a lot of it comes from uh, drinking to try and combat the stress which isn't good because those are empty calories that get processed first before any food and um, my work has really changed I'm working later at night now and so I'm not getting home till like 8 30 and so I was just skipping dinner um, or making poor choices because I would come home and have wine or beer and um, so that all has stopped um, and I am progressing with what's best for Lynn and acknowledging that yes I have some stresses in my life but I I have to take care of me in order to take care of everyone else and I have to put myself first and it's it's really hard to do um, so I am I don't even know how many rounds I've done I've done I've had so many failed rounds in the last five years um, the reason the weight has come back on has nothing to do with HCG it has to do with the food choices that I have made in the last year and a half and uh, the lack of activity uh, high stress low amounts of sleep um, and the list just goes on and on and on so you get what you get you know literally whatever you the things that you go back to doing I've said it all along you go back to your old ways then you get to go back to your old body so that's what I've got uh, you know but now I'm five years older so I know that HCG works I know that I can get the weight back off 
I know that my rogue ways work for me. Every round is different. Sometimes things that worked in previous rounds didn't work. Um, but I, you know, I have a time frame in mind. I have a plan in place. Um, I've eliminated, I've completely eliminated all my clientele, which I was working for in the last year to help achieve goals because my feeling was my head wasn't on straight and I had no business trying to help, even though I could do it, um, ethically, it felt wrong as my weight started increasing and I started struggling, um, it felt wrong to be preaching to other people when I couldn't get my shit together. So, um, in the past, helping other people obtain weight loss with HCG has been something that I have really enjoyed doing. Um, most of it was word of mouth and um, I started building a business around it that was g rapidly gaining success um, and then of course I had a bomb blow up in my face so my dog's running around in the driveway um, so that's where things are at now and I am very motivated and looking forward to this round and um, interested in anyone else that's doing a round I'm really really gonna try to vlog every day even like right now it's the weekend I never I, I typically never vlog on the weekend um, and I for me that really was my most successful rounds was when I was completely connected with everyone um, invested in the amount of time it takes to respond to other people um, with their comments I've still been watching everyone through my my last round and through my p3 um, I continued at 650 um, continued watching everyone watching their ups and downs and all the issues and the, and the perils of p3 and um, some of them some of you moving into life maintenance and achieving goal which is just so awesome and so inspiring to remind myself that I was once there and and that you can do um, so this is real life for me uh, I don't I pretty much just say it like it is and I, I share things with everyone that other people may not uh, mention because I've been doing this for so long. Um, I don't always follow the rules and many would say that's the reason that you have gotten to where you've gotten and that that isn't it. I've gotten to where I've gotten because of the decisions that I've made. So I am striving to obtain health happiness, fitness. I walked with the dog. Um, if I can figure out how to start editing, I'll insert that picture. She keeps me inspired to keep moving every single day because she's nine months old. And when she doesn't get out and get a walk, she's dangerous. <laughs> she drives me crazy. She will literally come and chomp on my arm and try to drag me out the door. Um, and beyond that, you know, cooking healthy for my family is very important to me. And so I am going to try to start doing some cooking videos because I have so many questions that are asked of me um, in my rogue ways of how I manage to keep uh, in P2 losing weight when I'm not necessarily following following the protocol correctly. Um, MOP is the, the way that I do it, my own protocol. Um, so what works for me may not work for you, but I'll give you options of things that you may consider when you're burning out at the, you know, at the end of the round and you need something else. There's a lot of different ways to still stay within the parameters of a P2 and not go completely um, I am on Instagram. Instagram is and I post pretty much every day on, on Instagram. It's just, I love the whole picture, um, concept of, of the artistic side of it. This, this to me is important to verbalize and 
acknowledge your goals or your failure, you know, when you do something that's not right or your struggles or all of those things. Um, you can't really do that on Instagram. The impact isn't there. Um, but there's a different community there. And I like that community as much as I like this community. It's noon. I haven't eaten yet. I've only had coffee. I've already got my eight cups of water in. Uh, probably will, you know, just kind of go with my intermittent fasting ways of waiting until I'm hungry and then eating. Uh, but all of my food is planned out today. So I'll try to sh snap some pictures and show you what I'm eating. P2 is pretty boring. I mean, <laughs> it's like Groundhog Day for me always. It's just the same thing over and over again. Um, because whatever works is what I roll with. And, um, I can be very uh, repetitive in, in a week and eat the same exact thing every day. And then other times I have to try something new every single day, um, new recipes, and I convert them and try to try to make a, a normal recipe P2 by being a little bit rogue. Um, so uh, there I go. Over 10 minutes. Um, I love you guys and I look forward to my round and I look forward to inspiring everyone and I look forward to you helping me, um, stay on track too. So take care. Ciao.